Hello. It's me. I was doing that to me. To go over everything. They say the time's a post to do you. And I'm not cheating. So, hello from the other singing hello by Adele I need help hello guys hello everyone and welcome back to my channel I am Summer and my best friend is Katie who I share this channel with and we bring you videos well she Katie does one video a week I do three videos a week so it's four videos a week from us and we do a beauty videos mainly I don't really know what Katie does but I all of my videos are beauty basically some of them are a bit of fashion-y if you get a cheeky fashion one in there, but yeah, everything's beauty. Shut up! Anyway, today I'm going to be doing my September favourites and fails. Why the bloody hell is this a month gone? I don't know. Ask yourself. Because I don't know where this month has gone. I do not know. By the way, if you hear my anyways, I'm right above our computer room that my sister's playing bloody Roblox in or whatever, and she's screaming, so that's great. Anyway, yeah, first of all, we're going to do favourites. So the first favourite I have is this NARS blush in shade Gina. And this is £23. I oh, can't bother to say prices. Yeah, I will. Oh, I'm feeling nice. Yes. And it looks like that. It's beautiful. <gasps> oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Like, nudey orange colour. And it's not a nudey orange. Shut up. Yeah, it's got an orange to pinky tone to it. Let's pull that down. It's a bit too bright, isn't it? Yeah, that one there. We have... This MAC lipstick in shade Yash, is it? Yes, I got it right. This is a beautiful orangey nude. I'll swatch it for you. It's that one there. It's beautiful. I've been wearing this nearly every day. Should we put it on? Let's put it on. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Quite cute. It looks more better in real life because... Then we have the Too Faced Love Light Highlighter in shade Blinded by the Light. I got the shade right. And it's so beautiful. Well, it looks like this. This is, it's not blinding blinding, but it's like just blind, half blinding and half a bit not blinding. Shut the hell up. Oh, okay. Right, can I just take a deep breath? Next we have the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Basic Primer. This sticks your makeup on like glue, like bloody glue. It's like PVA glue, this is. Kind of. And it makes it last longer. It just, this is just amazing. I haven't really used it that much. Well, I have. I've used it about seven times. Because I have a lot... For some reason, I, I find primers really boring. And mascaras, but I buy the most of primers and mascaras. Next, we have this. I put this in a favourites ages ago. I think I put this in my June favourites. But I stopped using it for a while. But I rediscovered it, and it's the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. This is 9 99 This is brilliant. I love this just as much as my Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is by far my favourite drugstore. Um... Mascara, it's just got a massive wand. What am I wearing today? Urban Decay Perversion. Quite like this mascara actually. Yeah, then we have the NARS Radiant Creamy Bloody Concealer. This is worth me doing that. This is so high coverage. It makes you look perfect. I'm sorry, but this is really weird because I've just been I've just been doing my September massive like makeup haul. And if it's gone up before this, then I leave it in the cars. But if not, look forward to that one. It feels weird talking about this because yeah, it's just amazing. We have the Rimmel London Scandalize, the Precision Micro Eyeliner. I think it's like four ninety nine. It's really cheap, and it just looks like that. There's a swatch that I did in my other video. I'll do another one. Whoa, that's black. It's so cool, so good. It's not cool. Well, it is a bit cool, isn't it? <gasps> so satisfying. Ready? Watch this. And break. <laughs> Next, we have the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. This palette is amazing. I've re I've used it. I've only used it like once to wear. No, twice to wear out. But I've been like I always practice makeup at home. Have a little makeup session, and I've used it like twenty times now. And it is so gorgeous. You've got all different kinds of, kinds of formula in here. Worth the £56, honestly. I've got to say that. And that's saying something. That is worth the £56. Right, we finished with makeup favourites now. Now we've got perfume favourite. This is the... Ah! This is the... Ah! 
face highlighter just on the floor that was and i've got carpet it wouldn't smash on carpet i think i need help um then i've just been using this every morning it smells amazing but i don't want it to run out because katie bought it for me this smells like heaven this is the well it smells but it doesn't taste like i ate that i ate that i have a problem with perfumes like beyonce perfume i sprayed in my eye Oh, I'll insert that now, actually. I have a problem with spraying things in my body parts. That sounds weird. Never say that again. I'm not. Don't worry. I've been straightening my hair every day because my hair, I don't know, it's naturally straight, kind of. I didn't, but I like to have it, like, it's a bit frizzy. So I like having it completely dead straight. So I've been using these straighteners. Can we just untangle them? Okay. They're the GHD Flat Iron Golds, I think. Yeah, and they look like this. I think these are 150. I got them about probably may not may no eight mm, i've been straightening my hair much but every morning for school now why am i doing that that's weird oh it's nice and cold oh nice and cold nice and cold oh yes that's great definitely gonna straighten my hair with flat with cold yeah this gives an amazing shine to your hair it straightens it just like if you just go like that literally dead straight well not obviously now because they're not turned on they heat up so quickly they're just amazing amazing right now we have a favorite candle of the month and this is like 2 99 from tk maxx honestly it's so good it's the uh everyday lux farmer's market pumpkin and crisp apple and warm spice soy blend now everyone hates this smell in my family and i love it and the smell it just goes around the room so nicely for such a cheap candle and it just looks like this i've used it tons you can see already and that's what it says on the top just just yeah foam fragrance oh it smells like autumn in a candle i'm telling you that now right now i just thought i'd mention I have a little cheeky mention of this you're probably gonna feel really weird but i just want to tell you uh, tell you a little story now ever since i was four i've had this addiction this certain thing of food ever since i was four years old i've ate it a special way i love it mini rolls I just thought this month I've been really loving them. They've been helping me through life. Mini rolls. These taste so nice. I'm gonna rate this after actually. Now I've got it out. Might as well. I oh, they're just so nice. If you haven't ate this yet, then you need to. Right. Anyway, now we're going to the fails. Unfortunately, bring on the fails. Food. Now, first of all, we have actually some of, most of these things in here are things that I loved and now I hate. That's weird, isn't it? I literally think all of these things I've loved and then turned into hate. Yeah, they are. That's that's cute. Right, first of all, we have the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll. The first time I used this, I loved it. Like I really loved it. But this is just honestly the most clumpy bloody mascara in the world. It just is so clumpy. Like right, this. Okay, the wand it looks it's so cool. Right, you ready? I can see I can I literally can see clumps on my lash. I mean it's amazing. This would be my favourite mascara ever if it didn't clump, but can you see that? And then if I try and do enough bit. Like look at that. But I really liked it at first. Look at that! Can you actually see that? Oh my god! Look at that clump there! It weighs down the lashes. It weighs down... The what mascara weighs down? The yeah, okay. And then we have my beloved... I really hate this. Really hate it now. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin. First of all, it's too light for me. Second of all, I think everything compared to this now is crap. So that's the only reason. But it's just... It's £19. I don't think it's worth it, honestly. It's not as high coverage as I used to think it was. I think because I've tried the nut... Sorry, this clump. Well... It's it's, it's just oh it creases that's the one creases really badly i put laura mercier on this one all under my eye creased a little did a little crease then we have lastly the last fail of me so jump <laughs> Shut up, 
why am I singing that song? It's just because Oriana is in it. Yeah. Too Faced Born This Way. This is rubbish for £29. I mean, it's good for, like, £9, but... No, it creases, it goes my smile lines. It's not as high coverage as I would think it would be. It just doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it's just one of those things. You don't, you can't pick out something, but it just does not look nice on your skin. And this is what it is. Also, shade range is shite in this. Absolutely shite. I'm not even joking. This is the lightest shade, yeah? The next shade up, this is way too light for me. If I, I needed that shade in the middle, and then this shade here, Look bloody orange. I would have looked like a tomato compared to my neck. That, tomato's red, but you know what I mean. I need that little shade in the middle. That's just that little one. Actually, they could have added at least three in between them. Why am I doing that? Anyway, yeah. That is for all for my favourites and fails. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sitting on my mini roll. I'm going to go eat my mini roll now. I love you all. All have a good day. And yeah. I'm having a good day with my mini roll. I love you all. Bye. I'm in the deep. Oh, I didn't end it. <laughs>